If you're wondering which monitors for Mac Mini are worth your money, stick around. After we run through each product, I'll give you my personal take. Would I buy it or would I skip it? No fluff, just my honest opinion. Let's get into it. Apple Studio Display. This thing is the perfect aesthetic match for a Mac Mini. With a gorgeous design, seamless integration, and a stunning 5K resolution that makes text ridiculously sharp. But holy hell, the price is insane for a monitor that's stuck at a 60Hz refresh rate and doesn't even have HDR. Plus, Apple has the nerve to charge you an extra $400 for a stand that actually adjusts in height. Would I buy it? Maybe, if I had just won the lottery and cared more about looks than my bank account, because otherwise, it's a beautiful ripoff. Think Vision P40 WD40. This absolute unit of a monitor gives your Mac Mini a 39.7-inch ultra-wide 5K 2K canvas to play with, boasting a buttery smooth 120Hz variable refresh rate and a built-in Thunderbolt 4 docking station with more ports than a pirate-themed convention. The only downside is you'll need a desk the size of a small island to fit this beast, and its 400-nit brightness, while decent, gets outshined by the pricier Apple Studio display. Would I buy it? Yes, for pure, unadulterated productivity, this curved behemoth turns your Mac Mini into a multitasking command center and is worth every penny. Asus ProArt Display PA2790RCV this is the smart creative's choice, giving you a sharp 27-inch 4K screen with fantastic color accuracy and 96-watt USB-C power delivery, making it a killer value proposition compared to Apple's display. However, the build quality feels a bit cheap and plasticky, making creaky noises if you look at it wrong, and its anti-glare coating is so aggressive, it can sometimes make the picture look hazy in a bright room. Would I buy it? Maybe, if you're a content creator on a budget who works in a dim room, this is a fantastic monitor for your Mac Mini. But that squeaky plastic body is a bit of a letdown. LG 27UP850K-W. Here we have the jack of all trades, a solid 27-inch 4K monitor that offers great picture quality and 90-watt USB-C charging for a very reasonable price, making it a super versatile option for your Mac Mini setup. Just don't expect to be a pro gamer with its 60 Hz refresh rate, and the built-in speakers sound like they are powered by a hamster on a wheel, so you'll definitely need headphones. Would I buy it? Yes, it's an amazing value that delivers 90% of what the Apple Studio display does for a fraction of the cost, making it a no-brainer for most Mac Mini users. Dell S2725QS. Dell just crashed the party with this one, offering a 27-inch 4K display with a 120 hertz refresh rate for a price so low, it feels like a typo. But to get that sweet price, you're giving up brightness and contrast compared to the others, and more importantly for some, it ditches USB-C connectivity, which is less of a big deal for a desktop Mac Mini setup. Would I buy it? Yes, if you want a high refresh rate 4K experience for your Mac Mini without selling a kidney, this is an absolute steal and probably the best budget deal on the market right now. Apple Pro Display XDR. This thing is absolutely stunning with its 6K resolution and retina sharpness that makes your Mac Mini feel like it's displaying the future. But holy crap, the price is so high you might have to sell a kidney on the dark web just to afford the monitor, let alone the stand. The 1600 nits of brightness and insane contrast ratio are god tier for HDR content. Though your Mac Mini's basic graphics might cry a little trying to keep up. Would I buy it? No, my organs are quite attached to my body, thank you very much. BenQ MA270U here we have a sane person's 4K monitor with a slick aluminum stand and USB-C hub that actually makes sense for a Mac Mini user. Plus, it has a special M book mode to perfectly match your Mac's colors without any fuss. On the flip side, its 400 nit brightness is just decent, so don't expect it to sear your retinas like Apple's displays. And it's a bit basic compared to the designer-focused models. Would I buy it? Yes, it's a fantastic all-arounder that gets the job done without requiring a second mortgage. BenQ PD2705Q. This one's the budget-friendly sibling, giving you great color accuracy and USB-C connectivity for your Mac Mini on the cheap, making it a solid choice for creative work without breaking the bank.
However, it's only a Quad HD 1440p display, which feels like stepping back in time after you've tasted the sweet, sweet pixels of a 4K screen. Would I buy it? Maybe, if I was just starting out and my wallet was mostly full of moths and good intentions. BenQ PD 3205U. If you're all about that screen real estate, this 31.5 inch 4K beast gives you a massive canvas for your Mac mini projects, with special modes for designers and single cable USB-C convenience. The catch is its brightness tops out at a measly 250 nits, which is fine for color accurate work in a dark cave, but pretty dim for anything else. And the text isn't as crisp as what you'd get from an Apple display. Would I buy it? No, 250 nits is just too low for me. I don't live in a bunker. Asus ProArt Display PA27JCV. This monitor is a 5K stunner that goes head to head with Apple's Studio Display, offering superb color accuracy and 96 watt power delivery over USB-C for a much nicer price. The main drawback is the strong matte screen finish which is great for fighting glare, but makes everything slightly less sharp and a bit dull compared to a glossy screen. Would I buy it? Yes, it's a 5K display that delivers pro-level features without the ridiculous Apple tax. ViewSonic VP2488 4K. This thing is a 24-inch 4K powerhouse for your Mac Mini with killer color accuracy and Thunderbolt 4 that charges your MacBook with 100 watts of power. But honestly, at 24 inches, it feels like I'm staring at a postage stamp, and the 60 hertz refresh rate is a total snooze fest from a bygone era. Would I buy it? Maybe, if I lived in a shoebox and needed a monitor that doubled as a space heater with that 100 watt power delivery. LG 27UN850. Hooking this 27 inch 4K display up to my Mac was a breeze, and the colors look almost as good as an actual iMac screen, which is pretty sweet for the price. The problem is, out of the box, it looked like a unicorn threw up on the screen, with super saturated colors that I had to spend forever tweaking, and the 60 watt charging is just kind of pathetic. Would I buy it? Yes, because once you tame its wild colors, it's a solid 4K partner for a Mac Mini, without completely emptying your wallet. LG 45GX950A-B this absolute unit of a 45-inch ultra-wide OLED is so immersive, I almost forgot I have a real life. The deep blacks are insane, and it just works with my Mac right out of the box. That said, the curve is so aggressive, it feels like the monitor is trying to give me a hug, and text can look a bit fuzzy, like it needs a trip to the eye doctor. Would I buy it? No, because while it's visually stunning, the text clarity isn't perfect, and I need to be able to read the angry emails my boss sends me. Samsung Viewfinity S8. This 32-inch 4K monitor is super affordable, which is great, but that's where the good news ends. It's the wish.com of Mac mini displays. The viewing angles are so bad that if I move my head slightly, the whole picture goes to crap, and its so-called HDR is a joke that even my Mac doesn't believe exists because it's dimmer than my future. Would I buy it? No, I'd rather connect my Mac mini to an old tube television. At least that would be ironically cool. Dell U402521W. This 40 inch 5K curved monster is a productivity dream with a slick 120 Hertz refresh rate and a Thunderbolt hub that makes connecting stuff to my Mac a joy. The catch is you need a beast of a computer to run it. My MacBook Pro is literally sweating and lagging and it's so damn big it might just swallow your entire desk whole. Would I buy it? No, my Mac mini would probably have a panic attack trying to power this behemoth, and I'm not ready for a monitor that costs more than my car. Dell U2723QE. This thing is a connectivity god, turning your Mac mini setup into a full-blown docking station with a bajillion ports, and the 4K resolution makes text sharper than a disc track. But man, that 60 hertz refresh rate feels ancient and the plasticky design has all the premium feel of a Happy Meal toy, not to mention its HDR performance is a bigger joke than my last credit card bill. Would I buy it? Maybe. If you live in a world of spreadsheets and never ever play games, its hub feature is a lifesaver, but that refresh rate is a deal breaker for pretty much anything else. BenQ Mobius X31 UX. This monitor is an absolute monster with a 32-inch 4A mini LED panel and a buttery smooth 144Hz refresh rate, making your Mac mini feel like it's plugged into the matrix. The problem is it costs more than a used car and doesn't even come with speakers. So I hope you enjoy the sound of your wallet crying in silence. Would I buy it? 
No. For over a grand, I expect a monitor to do my taxes and walk my dog, not just look pretty. AOC Q27G40XMN. You get mind-blowing HDR with deep inky blacks thanks to its mini LED panel, making it punch way above its budget price point. However, the stand only tilts, offering all the adjustability of a brick, and you'll see more smearing and ghosting in fast scenes than in a haunted house movie. Would I buy it? Yes, it's the undisputed champ for getting that premium HDR look without selling a kidney as long as you have a monitor arm or a stack of old textbooks to put it on. Asus Zenscreen MS27UC. It's got this classy fabric design and built-in Google TV, so it's basically a monitor and a smart television in one. Perfect for when you're pretending to work on your Mac Mini. But for a smart monitor, it's pretty damn dumb. Shipping with no webcam or microphone, which is a massive facepalm moment for anyone who has to take a video call. Would I buy it? Maybe. If you care more about your desk looking like it belongs in an interior design magazine and already own a separate webcam, its style is hard to beat. LG 27GS93QE. Get ready for a face-melting 240Hz refresh rate on a gorgeous OLED panel, where blacks are truly black and motion is so smooth it'll ruin all other screens for you. The trade-off is that the V-shaped stand is an absolute beast that will conquer half your desk space, and its aggressive gamer design might clash with the Mac Mini's chill vibes. Would I buy it? Yes! If you have a desk the size of a small country and want the absolute peak of performance for gaming and media, this is your glorious space-hogging champion. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you pick the monitors for Mac Mini for you. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Links to all of these products mentioned in this video will be in the description.